Okay, so for 10 days, performers will stomp, leap, plie, and sachet across the grand stage at New York City Center. And here's a taste. Now, that is just a peek at this year's Fall for Dance Festival. There's a whole lot more to see, and we happen to know a guy who can tell us all about it, Mr. Stanford Makishi. He's the VP and Artistic Director of Dance Programs at New York City Center. Good morning, Stanford. Welcome. <laughs> Good morning. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, anytime. Are you kidding? And you know how I'm, I'm sitting like a lady right now, right? You can tell. On the inside, <laughs> I'm break dancing. That's yes. how excited I am. <laughs> <laughs> just so you know. Okay, so this dance festival, Stanford, is no joke. It is super major, and as the boss man in charge, paint us a picture of what the festival entails. Well, the festival is a variety of all kinds of dance, from ballet to hip hop to tap dance to stepping. I mean, we try to offer what's important in the world of dance every year. All right, so aside from loving the fact that we get to see all these dances, I love the fact that ticket prices are not crazy. It's $15, and we get a lot of performance for that. So what goes into selecting the dancers and the dance companies who get to participate? Well, we really look around all over the world for the best dance there is. As simple as that. The best choreographers, the best dancers, and the best productions. Are you looking now? I'm looking. <laughs> there you go. We've got a spot for you, too. You heard the man. So aside from me doing a horrible robot, what's some of the other highlights and special performances you have in store this year? Well, you know, the, the amazing thing is that the ticket price is only $15, right? But we put a lot of, of, uh, of effort and resources into it. Thankfully, we have lots of great sponsors and donors supporting us. And we commission new work. We have four new commissions this year. And some of the highlights include um, a piece by Bob Fosse and Gwen Verdon. Oh. Um, and it's going to be a trio uh, starring the New York City Ballet soloist Georgina Pascogan, and it's going to, and that's on opening night along with a lot of other stuff. Oh, so wow. please come. It's only fifteen bucks. Oh, I know, right? And also, we hear there's a COVID nineteen protocol in place to keep the audience safe. So what do we need to know? That's correct. Everyone is going to be required to show proof of vaccination. No under twelve, unfortunately, um, and we are requiring masks uh, throughout the entire audience. All right, so uh, Stanford, this all goes down at City Center. And aside from the virtual shows you guys did, this is the first major live in-person event you're hosting since the start of the pandemic. And you're a former dancer. I'm a future dancer. So explain what the feeling's like knowing you're about to take the stage in front of a live audience. There's nothing like it. The anticipation, the nervousness, the excitement. I mean, and we have the best audiences around. We have 2,200 people filling our houses every night. And the, the energy in the house is just so amazing. I still have somebody who was in the 2013 festival still to this day telling me how amazing the electricity of the audience is. And so I hope you become a part of it too. What, what do you mean you hope? I am already a part of it. You're already That's my mentor. Correct. You're my dance mentor. You don't even know this. You are my dance mentor. So if you have, because as, as the former dancer that you are, you are a pro at this. What would you say the easiest dance, aside from the robot, would be for me to take on? Just in case, the easiest. Well, thing. Hmm, judging from my form, um, I think you'd be a great ballet dancer. N ballet? Ballet? Why not? You think so? I th I feel like that's why the not? hardest. Okay, after ballet, what's what's the other one? Because I don't mm. trust myself to do ballet. No one can lift me. I'm a giant. Um, how about stepping? Ooh, oh, I could do that. Stepping is awesome. Do you hear we, the sound have, I'm making on my feet? I have big feet, so I should be able to do we, that. We I have like a great where... company from Washington, D.C. this year called Step Africa, and it's going to be amazing. Oh, my God. Okay, so what about you? What was your favorite dances to do when you were a dancer? Uh, my favorite was modern dance. That's what I did. Um, I trained in ballet and all kinds of dance, actually, but, but modern dance was what I loved to do. How good a break dancer were you? A break dancer? Yeah, did you ever break Not... dance? Not so good. Me neither. What about a robot? <laughs> Not so good. Really? I can teach you the robot, and then you can teach me the other stuff. It's pretty easy. Look at me saying, I look crazy doing it, and I'm like, it's pretty easy. Stanford, you are the best. Oh, you did it! All right! We should make we'll this. We're about together. We should, we should we'll make this a part of the show.
That's right, we'll do a duet. Yes, and then if we get carried <laughs> off the stage, we'll, know, we'll understand. That's okay, no shame. No Tempered, shame. let me no tell you. Trying. Seriously, there is no shame. I'm glad you approve of my robot and you're not making fun of me like everyone else does. I will see you at the shows and everyone, City Center's Fall for Dance Festival kicks off tomorrow night and runs through October 24th. And as we mentioned, all tickets are $15 and available at nycitycenter.org. Thank you, Stanford. See you later. Thank you. Uh -huh. <laughs>